Okay. We are good to go. Good evening, all. My name is Stephanie Williams, and I'm the vice chair for the South Sacramento Community Planning Advisory Council, also known as CPAC. Um, today is Thursday, December 3rd, and I uh, will now call the meeting to order. Okay, and we will go ahead and call the roll. Oops, we got us. Member Lambert? I'm sorry, Member Lambert? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, Member Lucy? Okay, we just lost member Lucy. Oh my. Um, hold on one second. Could uh, someone just dialed in with the phone number eight three last four digits eight three nine one? Could you identify yourself for me, please? That this is Todd Lambert, member. Okay, we lost Burke, um, and we need him for a quorum. Okay. So let's um, hold on one second here. Looks, looks like Burke just joined again. Oh, there he is. Okay, apologize about that. Okay, we are in the middle of roll. Let's start over again. We'll start with the roll. Uh, Mr. Lambert. Here. Mr. Lucy. Here, can you hear me? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Munif. Ms. Santana Sanchez. Here. Ms. Williams? Here. Stephanie and, Williams present. Thank you. And Ms. Harmel. Okay, thank you. You have a quorum. Um, before we move forward, I will read a announcement in compliance with directives of the county, state, and centers for disease control and prevention, the CDC. This meeting is live stream and closed to the public. Temporary procedures are subject to change pursuant to guidelines related to social distancing and minimizing person-to-person -person contact. Uh, to make a verbal comment at today's this evening's meeting, dial 916-875-2500 and follow the prompts to be placed in queue for a specific agenda item or off agenda matter. When public comment for a specific agenda item or off agenda matter is open, you will be transferred from the queue into the meeting to make a verbal comment. Uh, written comments are always accepted. You can send your uh, written comment via email to boardclerk at saccounty.net. That's boardclerk at S-A-C-C-O-U-N-T-Y.net. Uh, your comment will be routed to the board and filed for the record. Um, Mr. Mejia, if you would like to move forward with your introductory statement. Sure. Um, this is the, the gathering of the South Sacramento CPAC. These are voluntarily members appointed by the Board of Supervisors, uh, a couple of them in this district. Uh, they are strictly volunteer. They do uh, listen and give input and vote on matters uh, that are brought before them from the planning department. Uh, it strictly is a, a advisory vote. Uh, they hear matters uh, that go on to the zone administrator, to the subdivision review committee, to the planning commission, to the board, um, and even some that are staff level. Um, like I said, they are strictly volunteer um, and um, that's about it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, if it pleases the uh, CPAC, we can move on to uh, introducing item one. Uh, item one is the Florin Road 711 trash enclosure located at 8498 Florin Road in the South Sacramento community. Request for a special development permit and design review. Thank you, Greg, and good evening, CPAC members. My name is Meredith Holsworth, and I'm the project manager for the Florin 711 trash enclosure. Next slide, please. For any interested members of the public who may be on the call, there are materials available for this project online at planningdocuments.sacccounty.net and you'll search by entering the subject control number, which for this project is PLNP 
2020-00200. Next slide, please. The project site is located at 8498 Florin Road. It's on the southwest corner of the Florin and French Road intersection in the South Sacramento community. The project site is located within the old Florin Town Special Planning Area, and it is currently developed with an existing 7-Eleven service station and convenience store. Next slide. The request is for a special development permit to deviate from landscaping requirements for a new trash enclosure to be put on the existing 7-Eleven site. The request also includes a design review entitlement to comply with countywide design guidelines. Next slide. So this is the site plan. It's showing the proposed location of the permanent trash enclosure. It's on the southern portion of the site within the existing parking area. Next slide. The proposed elevations and colors um, are shown here that are to be used for the trash enclosure. And as shown, it would include an angled roof and neutral color tones. Next slide. The only proposed development with this application would be the new permanent trash enclosure within the parking lot of the existing 7-Eleven. And that would replace temporary trash dumpsters that are on site. Um, I will note that though a couple parking spaces will be removed in order to accommodate the new trash enclosure, they still provide adequate parking as required by the zoning code. Um, the project has been determined to be exempt from the California Environmental Quality Act. And as of this meeting, staff has not received any comments from the public on this item. The, um, the project will ultimately be heard by the zoning administrator as the final hearing body. And that concludes my presentation. We do have the applicant on the line if they'd like to make a statement or answer any questions. Thank you. This is Nathan. I'm the representing the applicant, Kimley Horn, for this project. I would just like to add here that everything uh, Meredith has said is correct. And this project is a refresh of the, the building that's already been um, approved separately as with the building permit. And the only site improvement is the trash enclosure, which we are hoping would be a beneficial um, addition to the exterior, which will match the new paint of the store um, and remove the current trash dumpsters, which are just located um, at the edge of the property out for public view. So we're hoping to tidy this up and make a more pleasing store for the community. All right. Any um, questions or comments from any of the CPAC members? I guess I'll this start. Lambert, this I'll go first. Go ahead. Go ahead, Luke. <laughs> um, nope. Maybe Nathan or, or Meredith, is there a plan view? I'm just, I wasn't clear where the existing temporary dumpsters are. You mentioned out by the street or something, but if you can show like an aerial or a plan view, um, it's not clear where they are now. It's just clear where the new dumpster area is going to be. I don't have an aerial of it, but they are located um, in a similar area to where the the new trash enclosure is proposed. They're just um, the temporary, I believe, rolling dumpsters. Nathan, if you want to clarify that a little bit further. Yeah, and if we're able to go back to that slide that showed the site plan, I can describe where they are, are located. So if the temporary ones are there now, you, you're already they're already taking place of one or two parking stalls. Yeah, so actually if you see the southeast corner um, of the property, there's two black rectangles you can make out um, along the southern property line, and those are the, okay. the two dumpsters. That's where they're just at the edge of the parking area at the moment. So we're just proposing to put them in one of those stalls and you know cover them up with a nice trash enclosure so they're not out for the public view. Okay. 
that clarifies my question. This is Burke Lucy. Uh, my question is, uh, this is to deviate from landscaping requirements. Uh, can you explain what those requirements are that we're deviating from? Yes. So I it's, can answer that. Oh, Sorry, yeah. that wasn't um, detailed, but there there is a requirement for five feet of a landscape planter on three sides of the trash enclosure. Um, so they're deviating from that. And I can let Nathan go into details on um, why that request is necessary. But basically, um, it's, it seems like it's it's a site constraint issue, but I'll let him speak to that. Yes, that's exactly the case. There's limited room around the trash enclosure. Um, if you were to go one more slide, it shows kind of the, the scale of the trash enclosure is approximately the size of one of these parking stalls. So if we were to try to add five feet of landscaping on either side, it really becomes an issue with fitting our current parking and also being a hazard to vehicles trying to navigate through the area. I didn't see what you're showing us on this next slide, but uh, basically you're trying to address the it's it's unsightly or what's the um, in theory you could keep it where it is. I'm just devil's advocate here. Is that correct? So if we yeah no I understand. So if we were to place the trash enclosure where the current um, trash receptacles are, they're actually in the one of the driveway entrances there's a you can see there's a little median island and there's two driveway entrances off that east right. side of the property on french road um so the actual enclosure is about uh 13 foot square so it would jut really far into the the driveway exit and become a hazard for for vehicles trying to enter and exit the site so it effectively takes up one parking space and the new design takes up two three i can't uh, all the parking spaces it's kind of hard to tell it's very light on the site plan on slide five yeah so it takes up one of those spaces is not really a space there's a, a clean air separator for the the fuel system and there's sort of a, a half compact space that gets used there. So it takes out part of that half space and an additional space. Um, and if we were to add landscaping, we would have to crowd out, you know, we'd have to have landscaping behind it, which would stick it even further into the drive aisle, which wouldn't allow car to, cars to pass through there. And on the sides, it would take away our ADA parking and the stall on the far south which has the um, state required water and air um, station i guess i'm still going back to what's the not that i, I, I advocate for having uh, two dumpsters out in the, in the middle of the, the driveway but uh is it a requirement now that you have an enclosure for the dumpsters is that the whole impetus here It's generally, I mean, I can't speak for, so it's generally a new enclosure. If we were to redevelop this, um, Sac County, from what I've seen in other development projects working with them, um, yes, they asked for a protected trash enclosure and it's just general 7-Eleven as a business wants it to be a more sightly property and not have to worry about possibly people illegally dumping in dumpsters or just them being a hazard to vehicles and tank or tankers as they're trying to refuel the tank pad right here as the vehicle's trying to move in and out of the site it's just a hazard to have them out in a traffic drive area so cleaning them up and putting them into a trash enclosure that's well protected and covered just you know provides a nice aesthetic and gives a designated place on the site for the trash that's not just open to public view okay this is Manuel. I can add a little bit to that. Yeah, the county is trying to to get these uh, commercial businesses to corral their um, their trash their trash bins, uh, as you've seen around. You know, a lot of them are floating out in the middle of uh, parking lots and stuff. So the county uh, a few years ago kind of made an effort to 
to get people to come into compliance. I know code enforcement did it for a while, but when we have someone voluntarily wanting to do it, like this site here, it's really a benefit uh, to the county, like I said. So we are trying to actively try to encourage uh, more of these to to be erected. And any time that the plant, uh, that the, there's an entitlement, uh, not this one because these are voluntary, but other entitlements that we see, we we definitely go after that to try to get them to to put them into nice uh, newer um, enclosures or enclosures. Period. Okay. I'm wondering if you're losing any uh, space. Like, do you have? Uh, yeah, yeah. You have currently. This looks like this was previously a Chevron last year, and you had uh, air and water on the side where the dumpster is planned to go. So where is the air and water going? So the air and water is remaining, and that bottom stall is still going to be the the air water designated stall. Okay. So it's going to be kind of hidden behind the dumpster, effectively. Yeah, it's going to be right adjacent to it. So it'll be, the air water unit will be at the corner of that stall. It's got to shift about a foot or two to accommodate the dumpster, but it's not, you know, obscured by the dumpster. It's adjacent to it, um, and it will be still next to that stall. And at least it's open air to the south immediately. There's no fencing currently, but yeah. Okay, no other questions at the moment. Hi, this is Stephanie Williams. I just want to confirm that there are no other questions from CPAC members. Those I have none. This is Burke Lucy. Florida Santana Sanchez, I have none. Yeah, Todd Lambert, I have none. And uh, Ms. Williams, for the record, wanted to let you know that um, we have no written nor verbal uh, comments. Uh, at this point from the public. Okay, great. If we can have, um, we ready to vote on this. You make a motion to vote. I move that we recommend approval. Can Burke we identify Lucy. who that is? I'm no, sorry, this is Perk Lucy. Thank you. And then Member Lambert, second. Okay, so we have a motion by Mr. Lucy, a second by Ms. Mr. Lambert. Um, we will go ahead and call the roll. Um, Mr. Lambert? In favor. Mr. Lucy? Aye. Ms. Santana Sanchez? Aye. And Ms. Williams? I approve. Okay. That the motion passes unanimously. Um, that concludes item one. We can move on to item two, which is the staff update. Uh, is there any staff update from the planning department? None, none this month at all. Okay, uh, we can move on I'm to. Sure, item, no, I'm sorry. Um, I just want to uh, thank thank the members for 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 coming to to make this special meeting happen. You know, like I said, I know it's hard during the holidays and stuff. So we really appreciate that you that you guys took the time to to make this special meeting for tonight. Thanks for saying that. Okay, um, we can move on to item three, which is council member comments. Does the CPAC have any comments? Not this here. is Stephanie Williams. I have no comments. Okay, it sounds like none. Um, our last item is public comments, of which we have none. Uh, we have no verbal or written comments for um, the item on the agenda for this evening. Uh, that being the case, uh, we do not need a motion. We can recess on the call of the chair. All right. I like the recess. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Have a happy you holidays. Thank you, everybody. Happy holidays, everybody. See you next month. Bye. Thank you all. all right. Have a good Thank holiday. you, everyone. Happy holidays.